back to my channel as you know and if you don't know we're in dubai we were here for some um visa purpose and uh, just to have some fun just to have some fun i asked on my fan center to ask you some questions for me but Sofa is here too because I'm sharing the room with her. So she's gonna answer <laughs> some of the questions. A minute ago, I went downstairs and I ordered Indian food. I ordered pav bhaji. Pav bhaji. And the thing is, they served me for like 15 people. <laughs> so big! <laughs> it's so big. <laughs> Look at that. It's food for a week for me. And then, yay! If you haven't yet, subscribe. Subscribe now. Like, share, comment, comment, and but subscribe. Oh yeah, that yeah. Okay. Should we start? First, the question is: Would you consider yourself an introvert or an extrovert? Extrovert. 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 Okay. For sure. Like, look at me. I can't be quiet. And I can't be calm. <laughs> like um, a puppy. <laughs> yeah. I am more of an introvert. Honestly. It's because I know you for so long. It's hard for me to yeah. say as like when you oh um, in some way, yeah, maybe honestly, yeah, like yeah, yeah. when I met a new person, I'm always so quiet. I'm always like not talking at all. Mm. But once you know me, yeah, I don't stop. <laughs> yeah, she's everywhere and parties. Yeah, hey. uh, how do you say the one who makes parties like you're the one who brings the good vibes really oh yeah, in my opinion oh thank you the next question is what was the best thing that a fan have did for you so many things i think even just follow me just support and yes. give me love i think this is the like the most important part i would say mm -hmm. our fans are the best connected <laughs> you um of course everything our fan does is like amazing yeah. but the one thing that i would remember forever is some of the fans together they bought a star for me no and they named it shivana the board that That's our fan so called yeah oh yeah what a star too. <laughs> that was the sweetest That's thing sweet. ever okay. well you have your own star oh my god yeah like and it's like, I think it's near like where I am, so I can see it from there. Really? If I'm not wrong, yes. <gasps> Imagine if in the future you yes. will be able to see the star and like every time you go out. Yeah, like, oh, that's, like, my, that's my fans, my vlogs. Wow, ones. that's actually really cool. Mm -hmm. Thank you guys. A habit you know is bad, but you just keep doing it. My life and... <laughs> <laughs> I have so many habits. <laughs> I just... Oh my God. <laughs> I mean, eating chocolates. I was just about to say something like good sweets. <laughs> it's not a good habit, guys. I mean, it's good to eat chocolate, but not oh, every time. Yeah, I yeah. agree with that. I mean, I like I control myself a lot, mm -hmm. but sometimes I just need it, yeah. and I just have to do it. Mm -hmm. I would agree with chocolate. I also mentioned that recently. I like I don't really need it. Mm. Sometimes I, I don't even really want it, but then I'm automatically take it and yeah. eat something sweet, and I'm like, wait, 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 but you don't even want it. So I'm like, yeah. <laughs> but Sometimes like, when I'm like so tense or like mm -hmm. I don't feel like doing anything, or I'm like tired. I need chocolate. I need yeah. like that sugar power. Not, not any chocolate. I like milk chocolate and yeah. dark chocolate. You like dark chocolate? Yeah. You yeah. don't like you don't like white chocolate? No. <gasps> you, I love white chocolate. I love I dark chocolate. I mean, milk chocolate is the best. Yeah. But but then for me, dark and white are on the same level. But milk is the best. Oh yeah, dark is the best. Dark. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we will. <laughs> okay. Wait. Comment below. Which is your favorite? Milk, white, dark. Okay. Next. What do you value most in a friendship? Um, I think honest, honesty, or honest, honest? honesty, yeah. honesty. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, I think like all of us, we've been betrayed, we've been disappointed a lot oh, in yeah. people, 
And I think that's what I mentioned is that when people are saying so many lies and when they're saying Yeah, I like they oh, talk yeah. sweet in front of us and then they're yeah, like you're the best like nah. everything and then behind they're just talking so yeah. much bad things. Just, I just figure out that so many people were saying bad things that like I was got into now united with a weird way that like I don't deserve to be here so or whatever. Bad. And I'm like you used like, to why be my best that? friend. Like why would you say this? You know? So yeah, yeah I think honesty. Yeah, I have a similar like you loyalty. Uh huh. It's, it's the same thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like you have to be honest and loyal. Like if you are my friend, just be honest about it and just own it. Mm -hmm. And if you don't want to be my friends, don't pretend like one. I think it's always a thing to keep working on relationship. Mm -hmm. It's like. Yeah. Family accepts you for who you are, uh -huh. but and friends too. But it's still different. Like you need to work in. Yeah, because they're like yeah. so many different people, and everybody mm -hmm. has their own thought process and everything. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, so sure. yeah, honesty and loyalty, and also uh, someone that is there for me when I need them. I'm that there I'm for you. Oh, I'm there for you too. Yeah. You know, you have to yeah. What was the most interesting adventure you spent in another country? I think with Now United, it's like adventure every day. Oh yeah, all day, every day. Yes. Even today, when we were getting visas, it's like, it's such a thing to get into the taxis, to go to this embassy and they take every, all of your things and then you get confused because of accents and everything. It's just, yeah, it was already an yeah. adventure today in the morning, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> but we made it. We're good. Yes. <laughs> um, For me, interesting adventure we went to this place in brazil if i don't know if you remember but it was like a play thing there was like a lot of trampolines and we have to jump from up there was like balls we had an interview there yes that was so oh my, cool that was yeah I that was, was the, it my, my so we went to that place you brazilian people you i think you know it yeah it was like <laughs> the trampolines and there was this uh thing did i jump from it I can't remember the day. I remember the day, but I can't remember. The okay, day. I'm scared of heights, and I think I jumped from. It's like a tall building. You have to go on top, like climb. I remember this. Yes, I think we all jumped on the same. Oh, time. Is that yes. True? I have a oh video of it. I have a video of it. Maybe I'll put it here. But then I feel fine, like I like to risk, I like to be always uh, like, Oh, I'm gonna die! Like, <laughs> like, I like this yeah, we were all on top this one was for great. an interview and I think for a video we all jumped. Mm -hmm. And I jumped. I'm scared of heights. <laughs> I can't even do like flips because I'm scared and I'm gonna die, so I can't do it. But you made it. But I am alive! Go! 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 Do you remember where the time capsule that Nine and Marie is? Oh, that's it's... a question to you. I was just putting the message into this thing. I remember it. Really? So if you go to Shalom yeah. right now, you can find it. Oh yeah, with my eyes closed. No. Really? Yeah. Was it like under your house or something? <laughs> Imagine, I'm just like, like, yeah, I know where it yes. is. <laughs> I have no idea where it is, but maybe if I go there and if I see, I might remember uh, something. Ah, uh, okay, okay, I see. That. If it's still there. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, that's actually fun. I, I want to open it. When can we open it? Just I don't know. Anyways. Should we just go right now? Yeah, that's fine. Should we take, take it? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Do you intend to create a mailbox so we can send you gifts? I don't think so I can do that because I've tried that already in India but I wasn't able to so no but maybe oh, no. you can send um gifts if you wanted to Hotel. fan center oh <laughs> Hotel Just, too, we're yeah. there. I mean when we're staying in Abu Dhabi you guys always send us so many gifts like anywhere in the world actually in Mexico you did that it's so, like we do love receiving all of this if we're home and you want to send it you can yeah send it to my fan center and we can arrange it but no i can't do it in india how do you learn to rap that's a very interesting story okay, okay. go for it i think you were there too um mm -hmm. so there's this rap it's an indian song it's called birju 
and it has the last part. It was like really fast, and I like I memorized it. That's the word. Go for okay. it. Can you say it? So uh, <laughs> it was. I think it was at the time we were in the boot camp in Los Angeles in Marriott mm. Hotel, and we all were sitting, and I was like, "Let us uh, see this song." And uh, I did. Ab bari hamari hai, kuchh mail bari hai. Birdu je almari mein se sanduk le, sanduk mein se banduk le, kar aapko uska kar de full and final aap taake ka tu maakila tu naache ka tu khake paach goliya, aale daaku saale daaku na lotta kangan. वरना चढ़ेगा तो सूरी रेख क्यों हुई है नहीं चढ़ तो मैं नहीं हूँ जल जल ले आना है चल जरा तो भूमि तब बल बला दिख रहा है वहाँ पब्लिक बत्तर मारी बत्तर भागे बच कर कैसे तू लला ला तेरे बहुत नाटक बाजू में है रेल पटक फल टूटेला है बिरजू उठेला है बुद्धता के बाद एकदम सुखेला है गुस्सा में चलता है पंडित बनता है करने के बाद नहीं चली से करने फुटेज कर लिए खुली बना लिए पब्लिक मार लिए तेरे ले कर लिए रस्ते पर कटे बैलो कर ले सगला में से ये तो सब कंगन की तरह बना ला in front of noah and like all the members and <laughs> that was their reaction and um How so the man no one did <laughs> <laughs> i've got goosebumps because it hurts no, no it doesn't you just you just oh <laughs> <laughs> this sound is not nice what is She's happening weird. It was a Q and A video. Wow! So dude. I did this in front of the members, and this somehow uh, went to the management, and they were like, "Oh, so you can rap? She finally can rap!" <laughs> and then the first time I, so I didn't learn to rap. I just, I just liked the fast, fast song, and I like to sing it. So I just did it in front By of the members. Own. Yeah. Wow. And then the first time I read was in Dina Dina, and they were like dinner, dinner. translated in Hindi, and I was like, oh, so I translated in Hindi. That was the first time me translating or even singing in front of a studio. Wow. So yeah, what were your expectations in the beginning of my edit? I think for me it was um, first of all um, just traveling around the world because we were told that it's gonna be like best years of your life being yeah. together. And also, I think realizing that this is your new home, new family, mm -hmm. and like I literally right now, sometimes I feel like, yeah, we're close, like, but we're working together. When I go back home, I'm like, no, this is not just work. Yeah. Like, this is definitely my best friends. They're definitely my family. Like, I just don't feel complete when I'm back home alone. Yes, it's, it's always like really hard. It's a void now. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, like for me, expectations were really big, and mm -hmm. everything came true basically. Um, for me, that my expectations were that we're gonna travel the world, of course, and it's gonna be amazing because I always dreamed of performing um, yeah. on a big stage and like yeah. represent my country mm -hmm. and my talent, and that was all coming true, and it was all making sense. So yeah. it's like what you like to do, what you yeah. love, and mm -hmm. what I always wanted. So it was all coming true, and my expectations were not big because uh, where I come from, from Udaipur, I didn't dream of even going out of India. And now I'm like... like now you've been everywhere in the world. So mm -hmm. it was like taking a step by step, improving myself day by day. And yeah, just enjoying these years that I have in Nine Edit. Next question. Let's go. This is for me, but I think you can answer yeah, it too. Yeah. Okay, this question is, what is the one that cheers up Shiv on bad days? I admire her positively so much. Oh, thank you. Uh, chocolate? Ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> almost, almost. <laughs> I think uh, like movies, like all the things that I love. Mm -hmm. Friends, sofa cheers me up. She's always like, whenever, <laughs> like in, in rehearsal, sometimes we're stressed and sofa is always there to give us a hug. And that's that always cheers up. Thank so you. so far, chocolate, <laughs> ice cream, <laughs> and pav bhaji. Oh yeah, nice. Or sometimes I just go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> well, I just press. I just don't care. Yeah, it's just yeah. just um keep that thing for like hold, mm -hmm. and then you'll feel better. But it doesn't work every time, so check it out. <laughs> check it out. Check it out. <laughs> Next question, has your life turned out how you imagined it? I think for me, yes. I had a lot of dreams of um, traveling around the world, sharing my country's culture and its beauty, its essence around the world. And 
just um, doing what I love and I'm doing everything hopefully by the grace of God thank you so much and mm. um, but I also wanted to be a doctor an engineer wow a scientist and I wow. wanted to go to college mm -hmm. like in person so and different. like yeah mm -hmm. in person and like make friends have amazing time after class bunk classes like like a normal life too so mm -hmm. there were yeah but you know like kuch paane ke liye kuch khona padta hai so i think it turned out <laughs> it turned out good i think my life totally like it's different to what i was imagining and to what i was thinking but then because life is an adventure this is what i realized i always live as like most of us i guess in like when you don't know what's happening you don't know what's coming yeah. next so like you're always an unknown you know like the situation the life yeah and it's like you can't uh, predict what's gonna happen tomorrow True. what's gonna happen to your life and not just like oh i can't go out because like something is gonna happen to me yeah. i mean just in general like sometimes now united calls us and they say we need to get together all together yeah. in dubai you know so like th this trip just happened and that's what i like a lot about my life i guess it's the same for you and like yeah. everyone in now united is that it's always unknown um it also freaks me out sometimes but oh, i yeah. think this is why it's really hard to imagine uh, but I, I was also thinking like about college university and um like go, going become like i don't know maybe a teacher or someone else if not dancing and singing like a designer i don't know i had so many ideas and i wanted to try way more mm -hmm. um but now it's just the focus is a bit different but maybe one day i'll complete everything that i had in my mind so yeah we'll see how it goes <laughs> i think it's for me okay go your on. hair care products you use Okay, so I do oil. Um, I usually have like oil when I'm in India, and sometimes when I'm outside, I have like a little oil from Abida. I just use that and then wash it the next day. Shivan's hair is really, really good. Oh, huh. thank, no, thank you. And then I use body shop shampoo, conditioner, and hair mask, and yeah. And also, if I use heat, I always do like heat protecting spray, so it doesn't damage. Take care of your hair. Okay. That's it. <laughs> Which video clip did you most enjoy recording? Oh, I think for me it was in Mexico, fiesta and turn it up. Oh, I don't think. Oh my God, fiesta! <laughs> yes. <laughs> I just can't explain even why. It's just like because it was fiesta, uh -huh. it was at night, it was Mexico. <laughs> you hit your head. <laughs> oh my god, yes, fiesta. <laughs> so we had to kick the thing. Okay, we were hitting yeah, a piñata. Yeah. yeah. And <laughs> one by one, we closed eyes and we had to turn before and then hit. And it was really hard. It wasn't that fun as it seemed. Yeah. I mean, it was and fun. It was, was Annie's scary. turn. And she was um, behind. I was turning yeah. her. And she was like blindfolded and she had a bat in her hand. And she, yeah, <laughs> Annie was, had a bat in her hand. And Sofa was turning it. And she went like this. And Sofa was behind her. So and she it kicked me, her. like, hit me so hard in my head. And I literally thought I'm gonna die there. Like. <laughs> What happened? Is she okay? Your head so far on the head. <laughs> it, it was think, not, but I just, I just, I, <laughs> I yeah, just, yeah, she was that. like this. I was crying so much after. I was like, it's okay. I just got so scared, and then it was so scared yeah. too after. But mm -hmm. it yeah. was not fun at that time. But now, if <laughs> it's just <laughs> like I'm and we ate so much Kit Kat for oh, this yeah. music video. Oh yeah, that was my favorite music video. Yeah, because we ate so much chocolate. Um, for me, it was Fiesta, of course, and Lean On Me because it was so different oh, than yes. all our music videos. The outfit was amazing. It was something new. Mm -hmm. We we filmed it in the I mean, Emirates Palace. There was a lot of production. Yeah, it was amazing. Mm -hmm. It was really really good. Yeah, it was long though. It was two night, like long nights. Two That's nights, yeah. Remember. And the fun part from that music video was like behind the scenes. Uh -huh. Oh my god, I remember Nikki sleeping <gasps> on the couch. <laughs> so there was picture, a yeah. couch and it had like a cushion on it. But Nikki, what he did, he took the cushion out, he slept, and then he put the cushion on it. <laughs> That was the funniest thing ever. It was thing so ever. cold. It was so funny, <laughs> like a sandwich. <laughs> yeah. What are your New Year resolutions? My New Year resolution is learn how to play guitar. Yeah. And I kind of did 
but it's so hard. But yeah, I'm gonna accomplish okay. that. Too. Nice. I am still hoping that this year I can learn a new language. I, I have to, yes, I too. literally, I swear, I started learning two of these languages, Portuguese and French. And I had a few classes, but because of us traveling the whole time, I, 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 I just couldn't, I, 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 so <laughs> I tried I to learn year. three languages. I oh started God. Japanese, and wow. then I was like, no, maybe Arabic. So I started Arabic, and then I was like, hmm, let's <laughs> learn German. And then I was wow. like, Maybe just Hindi, maybe just English, English and then <laughs> yeah. maybe a, yeah. <laughs> a Russian. Yeah, but I really hope that I can learn language this year. Like I really wanna yeah. do it. <laughs> my goal is to speak all the languages. I'm gonna be like multi. Oh my god! But imagine that would be really cool. I mean, there's nothing impossible. But um, also I think that it would be so hard because now that I know Hindi and English, like I always knew, but whenever I speak in Hindi or sometimes English, I forgot the words in it. Yeah, and same then... for me with Russian and English. It's, it, it gets really... So I'm like, I'm wondering if I learn like so many languages, how is that going to happen? <laughs> Just talk one mixed one, you know? <laughs> Just a few people in the world oh will understand you. <laughs> like, this happened to me. I know how to say like, hi, my name is Shivani and nice to meet you in Russian. And then I mix it with something else. I was like, Yeah, yeah. Something is wrong. Yeah. Almost there. Just two more left. Is there anything you have did and regret or never did anything that ended regretting later? That's a very interesting question. I think I definitely did something in life when I, then I felt really bad after and I was like, Oh I regret I did that. But then everything turns out always like in a good way yeah everything good happens way. for a reason yeah so i just try to leave um i don't like saying oh what if um I, like I, I i should have done something different and like these questions is like oh, i wish i could change something like this yeah. is your life you just learn from your mistakes and you move on which like i do regret still sometimes but i'm working how to not to because if not this maybe something else would not like not happen yeah and yeah everything changes us a lot so maybe everything is happening for a purpose mm -hmm. like. i mean there's a lot of things but one thing that i want to mention is <laughs> i wish i studied more so that i could get more marks but every time i study only like when i was in school i only studied when there was like exam around the corner oh. i never studied whole year. i never did that <laughs> no i was studying a lot at school but i was so afraid of exams but i wish i could have learned just in general more mm -hmm. but yeah i mean i can't regret it i'm no, happy no. life and i can yeah. always study i mean i don't really regret it though because you just saved your nerves and energy <laughs> <laughs> because I was uh, giving a lot of time to my dancing too and exactly. I don't like reading. You guys know that. And reading books? No. Oh, okay. Not friends anymore. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I tried to read books. Mm, and didn't I, work. Yeah. When Enyu was new and not popular, how did you guys used to feel? Did you feel like giving up? Um, no. No. Because when we were not famous, it was the beginning of our career and it was, that time was a learning time. Exactly. So no one gets famous in a day, honestly. Everything takes time and I don't feel like giving up because that was the time of our learning and uh, getting to know this industry even more. Mm -hmm. And we're so passionate about everything and still, but by this time, because we didn't know how it could end up, like that we be, I, I don't like the word famous, you know, like being like, yeah. I'm famous, but you know what I mean? Like, yeah, like we uh, achieved a lot mm -hmm. and because we didn't know how much we would be able to do right now, like these days, I think it, it was just pushing us, you know, like, oh, I want to, yeah. I, I need to like figure out how it's going to end up. Like I want yeah. to work harder. I want to dance more. And it was yeah. always giving a hundred percent every yeah. single day. Mm -hmm. I never felt like giving up. Maybe when you just like exhausted and super tired after like music like, videos or uh, something. Yeah, I need a break. Like, yeah. Uh, but then as soon as you sleep and get chocolate or like hot bath and talk to your parents, like you feel yeah. so much better. So I can't say like we. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. So like at that time we weren't working to like get famous. Famous. Mm -hmm. We were working on achieving things together as a group yeah. and like growing as an individual and as a group so 
Yeah, I didn't yeah. like feel anything like that. Deko did a great job, honestly, after this, like four and a half years almost. Five. It's been, yeah, it's been, yeah. Oh my god. Wow. It's wow. Like, I'm happy to do like Q and A's like that because then you can actually yes, remember this things. This was good. It was really really fun to talk to you guys, answer your questions. Thank you so much for watching and we love you. We love you. <laughs> okay, yeah. bye bye. Thank you. We love you.